Walking in the shadows way too long You always thought that you were weak But babe, you're wrong Yeah, you better step into the light Just give it a try Think that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long Cause you're a work of art You, you should know that you are perfect with those flaws Yeah, you, better step into the light Just give it a try Know that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long
Hi! Oh! Hello, everyone! Oops, hold on. I walk away for two seconds and it goes live. Uh, I have an overlay somewhere. How are we all doing? Oh, thanks, um, Apple. That's awesome. <laughs> I honestly cannot find... Well, that wasn't it. How are we doing today? Better than me? Awesome! <laughs> It is somewhere. Oh, there it is. I found it. Hi. How are we all doing? <laughs> um, yes, I, um, I'm not sure whether this is to me or to Bianca, but I have been packing, uh, for Go Wild. Um, oh, thank you, Candy. Um, oh my gosh, it is... <laughs> Feels. Um, okay. Hi. Let's start that again. Hi, everyone. Um, let's say hi to everyone in the comments. Hello, Laura, Donna, Maria, Bianca, um, Juliana, Juliana, Crystal, Angela. Candy, Maria, hold on, I think I've already said Maria. Um, hi again. Um, Laura, Jennifer. Uh, who else have we got? Michael, Jasmine, L Laura, another Laura, Donna, D Diana. <clears throat> uh, Diana and Diane. Candy, who else? Kathleen, Hannah. Um, Sylvie, uh, and Linda. Hi, everyone. And hi, Mary Ann. Hello. And Nina. Hi, Nina. Yeah, I've actually had the, um, suitcase there for a couple of weeks, except I think last time's live was, it was a really, I've got like a hair in my mouth. It was like a really overcast day, so you couldn't actually see any of the things. <laughs> um, I'm traveling in like seven days. This time next week, I, holy crap. I will be on, I will be at the airport on a plane this time next week. Are you kidding me? Yep. What is going on over there? Yep. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, I'm very excited. I am going to go wild in the States, which I am so super excited to get back to. I get to see so many of my amazing besties. I'm staying with Jamie. Um, we're hoping to do a takeover um, and like do the live from Jamie's place next time. Um, You'll be in transit 
in Sydney this time next week. Yeah, so I'm flying down to Sydney and then flying from Sydney straight across to Dallas. Um, does Lachlan understand about your trip? I we've we had a chat to him about it, but we I don't really know. We don't we don't really know. We think he might, but um, we don't really know. Um, Indy definitely does, and she's she's gonna miss her mama. Um, so yeah, that's hard. It's harder because you know, worrying if Lockie understands that I'm going to be going away and, you know, I, I, I struggle with being away from the kitties, especially for that long. Um, oh, Jasmine, looking forward to meeting you. Go well next week. And this is what I love, right? This is what I love. I love being able to meet all these people who I chat with and Maria, can't wait to meet you too. Uh, hi, Stephanie. Hi, Kiva. Um, yeah, it's, just, it's exciting because I get to meet people who I talk to. Um, am I bringing stuff to sell? No, that would just be, it's expensive enough to get me over there, let alone a bunch of stuff to sell to people. Um, because I would have to ship stuff from the, out from our warehouse, which is overseas. And then I would have to potentially ship it back to the warehouse afterwards if it didn't sell. Um, so that actually becomes a super, super expensive trip. Um, and I would have to sell a lot to make that worthwhile. Um, Laura, um, I hope to meet you at Go Wild. I discovered your amazing planet goodies at my first Go Wild in Anaheim. Yay! Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to, to meet so many amazing people and just to be inspired and, you know, just go around and like, go into Michael's and go into Joanne's and uh, Dairy Queen. And <laughs> um, so I am, I am so super, super, super excited about that. Um, it's it like, to be honest, I've been trying not to think about it because once I think about it, I just want to just get, like, I just want to do all the stuff for the trip. Like, I just want to pack. I just want to, um, like, get all ready. And then there's the other half of me, which, like, turns into a nervous wreck because I hate flying, especially for that long. Um, it's also, like, my first, um, yeah, Linda, have fun at Go Wild. You need fun time. Yeah, it's, it's my first break in years. So, um, including like things like weekends and, and stuff. So, uh, cause PA, the time, like the amount of stuff that we pump out at PA is there's so much of it. So being able to actually take some time off is, it feels like a luxury at this point. And Jamie and I have been working super hard on the kits so that I can actually have a break. Um, <laughs> the things we American take, uh, we Americans take for granted, especially Dairy Queen. Yeah. I'm like, uh, Whenever Jamie has Dairy Queen, all my friends have Dairy Queen. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to try some. <laughs> Something so simple. Um, anxiety is real, even though it's something good, you still get anxious. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I have actually put in a few supports for myself for this trip because last trip was such a cluster truck. <laughs> um, so this year, the fact that I'm not doing my stopover in LAX makes me a lot less anxious than last year because a lot of things sort of went wrong for me at LAX just because I got confused, didn't know where to go. My phone didn't work, obviously, because international. Um, and my bag split open and all that sort of stuff. And then trying to, <laughs> once I got, because I had to then do a baggage claim on my connection flight, I then had to when I got off at Vegas had to like one of them was a pool bag and one of them was a like a wheel bag and then I also had my carry on with the thing because I had so many bags and I had to like walk 10 meters and then like go back and get the other bag and walk 10 meters because I didn't have coins to use the coin trolley things oh my gosh anyway <laughs> so once I get to the airport I will be met by um uh, Jamie and hubby Julian and I am very excited for that um, while you're in Texas stop by a Whataburger yes I think we're gonna do a Whataburger and try the Dr. Pepper show Ooh. okay I have had Dr. Pepper but like whoa <laughs> 
I'm so sad I didn't know about GoBard when it was in LA. I would have loved to go. I mean, I had planned to go to LA. I was very excited about going to the LA one Um, because we were doing really well then. And then, you know, uh, initially that was 2020 and obviously that didn't happen. And then it just became impossible to get over there. Um, Okay, we're all talking about this Dr. Pepper shake. Or well, not everybody, but there's a few people like Dr. Pepper shake. Yummy. Mm. Really? Yes, it's on the list for Whataburger. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's... um. Oh, I can't believe that's so close. So I actually had a bit of a freak out about three days ago because I thought, I honestly thought I had about... 15 days to go. And I'm like, great, I've still got 15 days left. I'm running way ahead schedule. I'm going to smash this. I'm going to like have so much done. And then I heard Michael talking to him. Oh, then I checked out on my wide website and it said like 12 days. And I'm like, oh no, that can't be right. And I heard Michael talking to Indy and he's like, mummy's going in like nine days. And I'm like, excuse me, what now? <sighs> the panic is real. Um, so yeah, it's, and I've got a little, I don't know if you can see, but like a little care package. <laughs> got some Tim Tams and some Milo and some Ice Bobos and a few other things that I need to go to the shops and pick up some Vegemite um, <laughs> to, 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 to take over for Jamie and Bess because we're going to be hanging out for a couple of days before. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, oh my gosh, I'm excited. I'm excited. And um, yeah, yeah, Terry Queen might be a disappointment. Oh, most have gone to oh, around here anyway. Look, you know what? See, here's the thing. You know what it's supposed to be like. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, I'm equating it in my head to like a donut king here in Australia, but like better. But that obviously may not even mean anything. Um, When you're excited about something, it is supposed to be slow to arrive. You are the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And I think it's just because we've had so much going on here. So we had the the quarterly release <laughs> that went out. Okay. So on the quarterly release, um, actually, before I jump into chapters, I also want to let you know, because somebody asked me last uh, live, I still want to know the non-chapters stuffy first. Um, on, on the last live, somebody asked if uh, I could get the sub digitals up for arctic and for heartfelt happy to say those are those are now up on the website so if you're a subscriber you can go and download those once they're in your cart and you're logged into your subscription um for that kit i believe um the discount will um it'll automatically take it off in the cart i believe that happens or no in the checkout page um so that's uh, that they are up there on the website, the quarterly. So there was two products for the quarterly that went up, um, which was the, um, the stickers on their own. And then the pack with like the charms and the refresh, uh, the charms, the locket refresh and the pockets. Um, so the pocket and stencil, uh, kit. So they're all on the website now. So if you haven't, you're all talking about blizzards. I'm guessing they're like McFlurries. I think, I think our Hungry Jacks have blizzards. I'm guessing it's like a McFlurry. <laughs> Help a sister out here. <laughs> is it, it, it is, it is like a, right? A mocha moo latte. I have put on enough weight in the last six months. I'm going to come back so fat from all this food. <laughs> I'm going to eat all the things. That's another thing. We've had so much stuff shipping. Hold on, that's my empty one. We've had so much of the things shipping. Hold on this side. Like, I love it when things finally get shipped, when they come in. It's just, mm, everything, it's like all the pieces are just falling together. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm very happy to say that like pencil cases arrived and okay yeah absolutely Jamie all the things <laughs> vacation calories don't count <laughs> I love that Jasmine I wish 
I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. Um, all the thick milkshakes. Oh, yay. Hey, Karen. Oh, whoops. Um, blizzards are a saving grace. Like that, but way better. Okay. Um, oh, yay, Maria. You got your Go Wild stuff on Saturday. Now, if you didn't order your Go Wild stuff, it's probably not going to make it there in time. But can I, can I be seriously honest with you? I, I mean, I don't know if this is everybody's experience, but at my Go Wild last time, I didn't have time to do anything but like do quick scribbles in my planner. So it wasn't until I really got home. Um, then I sort of used all my bits and pieces to, to really like deck out my planner. And I like, if you order now, it'll be waiting for you when you get back home. So, you know, there's an idea. Um, did a small letter come with the locket base in Q1? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Um, you'll be walking and moving and burning a ton of calories. No need to worry about food on vacay. Oh, that's very true. That is very true. Especially with some of the stuff we've got lined up. I am so excited. Woo! Um, the Go Wild pack was so, uh, was so stinking cute. Was hard to resist buying even without going. It really was like, okay, can, can we just, is that showing it? Hold on, this way. This llama, oh, he's so cute. And then we've got like the confetti. And I got to do some really cool stuff in that, um, that I hadn't done before. Like I got to do the, the, like the waterproof stickery things as well. Stickery things. Um, I plan to order when I get home because I know that I'm not going to do anything at Go Wild. I still don't have anything for last year. I feel like we're going to need to like do like a, a Go Wild, a post Go Wild Zoom so that we can all memory keep um, about all the things. Maybe that's, maybe that's an idea for once I get back. Um, cause that would be fun. Um, yeah, so that's, that's super exciting. The tear washi is absolutely, oh my gosh, tell me about it. Hold on. I think I know from that. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, this, I love it so much. Um, I, I may have six or seven rolls. <clears throat> basically make a dress out of it at this point no um <laughs> um so um yeah okay let's let's um let us jump in to let's let's talk about chapter stuff because i could talk about wild all day um so chapters general the q um as i mentioned the quarterly is um quarter two is now available q three the Q3, the half yearly stuff and the Q3 stuff, I will be working on once I get back from my trip. Um, so that I'm hoping to sort of release that in June sometime, just so that you all know. Um, the Butterfly Blooms Creative Kit is available up on the website. Now that is open up to everybody. So we did, we did something a little bit uh, different this month because Jamie, um, so Jamie has been working on the creative kit. She was able to get it done earlier than normal. So what we did was we opened that up for people who have purchased the kits. Cause I know, I know that wait when you're waiting for the goodies to arrive is, is so hard. <laughs> I get it because like here in Australia, a lot of stuff takes like, especially, you know, when I've subscribed to sub boxes in the past, it can take a month to get here, three weeks, four weeks to get here. So I know what that wait is like. Um, so we got, we put the, um, butterfly blooms, which is chapter four kit up, uh, uh, creative kit up early and then made it available to subscribers first. Now, uh, it is now available to everyone. So if you want to go and purchase that, you can, um, and get playing with it now. Um, that confetti is multi-purposable. Is that even a word? It is now, my friend. Um, oh, I get chapter three tomorrow. Woohoo! Yay! Yeah, I know half your stuff. Am I? It, it crazy, right? Um, um, yeah. And the shipping, the shipping has been really quick for us at the moment, which I am super happy about because I wanted to make. I was, you know, especially with Wild and the event, wanted to make sure it was super quick. Um. 
Okay, next thing. Oh, on the quarterly, because I forgot to, to mention. So the notebooks, I did hold back. So I'm just finalizing some pieces for the notebooks. And I didn't want those because they, they have a much longer lead time. Um, they can sometimes be up to six weeks and we sort of don't know until the suppliers get closer to finishing. Sometimes our suppliers just like don't tell us much throughout the process. And then all of a sudden they're like, we're done. It's like, great. We've been wanting to know what's going on, but cool. Um, so <laughs> what we decided to do was to pull out the, um, the, the notebook, um, and which we were selling separately anyway, but not have it live at the same time. So that way people's orders weren't being held up um, by the notebook. Um, so that's why that isn't up on the website yet. We're going to put it up a little bit closer to the launch date. Um, so it, there definitely is a notebook coming. Um, just having a read. Um, oh, um, if we, uh, the chapters blog, I've been doing some updates on, so there is, um, <laughs> the blog is a little bit behind, to be honest. Um, and it's something that I'm going to be working on while I'm away, if I don't get the chance to work on sooner. So there's, um, we finished off the, basically the last post for chapter one. So which matches with the third week. So Alex is having a chill and a relax um, having some, some self-care time, drawing herself a nice bath and just, you know, a little bit of pampering after her hard move and everything like that. Um, so if you want, head over to the website and you can read that. Um, and the playlist for chapter two is on its way as well, uh, blog posts and all that sort of stuff. So it's super exciting. Um, oh, and Michael has said some of the Petal Palette orders were held for an extra day or three waiting for the pencil cases to be checked in. Um, yeah, the pencil cases. Oh my gosh. The pencil cases have just... I almost cancelled the pencil cases five or six times before you even saw them. And... You know, when you, you, you start ignoring your gut and, you know, like, cause had everybody telling me, no, they look really pretty. You do need to release them. I'm like, I'm not really feeling it. And then we had issues with the proof. We had issues with the zipper. We had issues with the size. We had issues with the, I wanted to do a cloud scallop on the front of it. Um, and it was like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so we decided because we got the, the all good from the supplier um, to go ahead with it. And then there was more issues during the production and it's like, Oh my goodness, this thing was just like, it's cursed. <laughs> and then it arrived here. Finally, finally it arrived. Cause we ended up with like another delay for it. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, huh? but then it arrived and I received my pencil case and all the pain was so worth it because it looks perfect. I'm so glad that the original one that I had didn't, it was so fluorescent that some of the colors just looked not right. So I, I am so glad that it turned out so nicely and so pretty and just it turned out wonderfully so all the pain all the weight is what i was trying to say is all the pain all the weight was totally worth it because yes they are absolutely glorious now um <gasps> yes I forgot that people can access those early. So there you go. They are already up on Spotify. I just haven't done the blog post to, to match them yet. <laughs> well spotted. Um, um, yeah, it's, it's, it is really pretty and I'm super, super happy with it now. Hold on. Let me just, I'll, let me just show it from the top down. Hold on. So yeah, it's, it's just, it's looking so pretty. 
and yeah this this section on the the sample was just like way too bright and it just did not look nice um so I'm really glad with how it ended up coming up it's much much nicer um and we had to go back to the wave because the initial um the initial scallop cloud that I designed just just wasn't going to work but I love I, I just love how these work like just that it gives you easy access to your pens you can stand them up you can see all your pens inside and then just take it with you on the go so yeah it's uh so worth it so worth it so gr <laughs> grab them on the website now the curse has been lifted they are amazing they are shipping <laughs> grab one now um let's jump into um uh, let's, let's, <clears throat> let's, let's jump into chapter five. So chapter five. And, um, this is something I just really wanted to bring up as we head into chapter five. I wanted to have this up last time, last for the last, uh, uh, when I previewed the kit. Um, it's okay to seek help if you're struggling with your mental health. Your story matters and you are not alone in this journey. For resources and support in your area, please visit findahelpline.com. Now, whoa, what was that? What is going on with all my overlays? Yeah, honestly. Um... What is going on today? Yeah, so I just really wanted to, this this kit deals with um, a lot of the feels, okay? So there's, you know, it's a, it is a rain, on the very surface, it is a, a rainy days kit. So, because I know how much that is a fan favorite. Um, and, but it does have a, a deeper meaning behind it. Um, you know, life isn't always sunshine. Sometimes it rains, it gets stormy, and sometimes we need help, and that is absolutely okay. Um, um, so, you know, that's it's it's also uh, it's also an important kit to me. Um, I'm actually dedicating the main character, whose name is Alani, um, to my past therapist who passed away in the last six months. So. Um, yeah, it's, I'm trying my bit to sort of get rid of the stigma around, um, therapy and mental health and, you know, let's, let's all support. I have some amazing people in my life who really support me through the hard things. Um, so yeah, I, I just want to create that sort of community and I know that we have uh, people in our group who have been through hard things as well and there has been so much support in our group so I just want to thank everybody for being that supportive and not just to the people in the group but like to us we've we've been through some really hard times where PA almost hasn't survived over the last few years and you've all been there so much to help us out so yeah I want to say thank you to everyone okay let me jump into it. So some previews for this kit. So here we have, just give me a second because they seem to have just all switched off. And I just need to turn them all back on again so that I can show them properly. Whew, okay. So, um, Paper Lover Kit. So we've got the um, the letter and the um, our main character, Alani, on the front and she's in her therapy uh, room. Oh, thank you so much, Candy. Yes, don't forget to like. Um, and yeah, so that's the, the letter that comes in both the Paper Lover and the Planner Lover. And then we're going to jump over into the die cuts for Paper Lover. Um, and these are looking gorgeous. So we've got a few different bits and pieces in there. And as we go through the art, you'll see more and more pieces of it. And then we have the journaling cards. So the journaling cards, I am loving this time as well. 
There are a few different questions. So because the journal cards, there's two journaling questions in there. But there's also a whole bunch of like art and quotes and things like that in there as well. Um, let's jump into the papers. So we have this, and this is like the first week of the kit, right? So there's sort of um, dreary, the rain, it's like very wet watercolors. Um, and it's just a feel, it's a mood. <laughs> Um, and as I said, like these, there's a lot in this kit which isn't specifically related to mental health. So if you don't have um, any sort of basis around the mental health stuff, um, this kit still works. Um, and then we have the second, so that's got the teal behind it. And the second paper is the gorgeous dandelions, which you've been seeing over the previews. Um, and I love the um and oh hold on are there two copies of the rainbow oh no there's only one i obviously forgot to put i forgot to put one of the this happened i usually catch it when i do this um no there's only one um <laughs> whoops um and then we have so the third paper is the like the floral dandelion and it's got like these these watercolor splashes because this kit it's a little bit messier um you know it's very life <laughs> and then we have the uh journaling paper now this paper is really interesting and it's sort of it has moments when we design these papers they're like the washi and like the journaling um journaling sticker spread they have moments through them so you can see up in the top corner it's a little bit more of a sort of darker moment and I'll get through to that once I get into the sticker weeks and it goes over to the sort of lighter stuff as you travel across the page. Um, and then the last paper is this beautiful, like just flat lay bird's eye view of like just a rainy street. Cause I love the, um, I just, I love their whole umbrellas, the pops of the yellow, all that sort of stuff. I love this message about encouraging people to reach out when struggling as a therapist and someone who has also benefited from therapy in my life. This message is so important. It really is. And I, to be honest, I don't think enough people go go into therapy. I think that there's, there's so much that on, on so many different levels that, that therapy can help. Um, I've been seeing a therapist since of, of some kind, since I was about seven years old. So, um, yeah, I've had a lot over my lifetime. Um, and, you know, some are great, some are not. It, it very much depends on the person that you get. And if you click with them, some of them I have not clicked with. Um, and then the, uh, and some of them I really have. Um, so, yeah, it's, if you, if you end up in therapy and you're not really clicking with the therapist, then maybe the therapist isn't for you, not necessarily therapy. Um, and then the vellum and the acetate went something a little bit different this month. So we've got the rain overlay in the white and we've got the storm clouds over in the, I always get these two confused, in the vellum. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, that is, I, I actually think they look amazing stacked on top of each other. Um... Um, hey, you're good. The dandelions are gorgeous. I don't know what they are called, but what, but what are the big round fluffy ones that float through the air? Yeah, that's them. They're dandelions. When we were little, we called them Santas. Yeah. Or wishing fairies. Yes. That's, that's what the dandelions are. Um, which are absolutely horrible to try and etch and get rid of all the white around because they just don't work. <laughs> Etching just doesn't work that way. Um, okay. And then let's jump over into the planner lover kit. So we've got the paper card, the intro again. Yay. Oh, let me bring that up. Yeah. I love the raindrop vellum. I love the whole page overlays like this. Absolutely. I was so excited for this. Um, and okay. So there's the character card again. Oh, I forgot to show the, why didn't the pouch export? Hmm. Okay. So there's a, I think this is the smaller pouch. Yeah, there is another pouch. Obviously, we have the two sizes of the pouch. Um, so this one says, hold on to hope the sun is just behind the clouds, um, which I really love as a message as well. 
Um, and then we have the note. So the notepad and the sticky notes, which is super cute. Okay, on that. Okay, hold on. I need to. I need to just remove a page from mine. I'm sort of loving how these are just turning out. Um, right, and they just they just sort of all work together. And the same with. Just gotta make sure I've got no writing because I've been using these. You know, the same with the the notepads, like. They, they're just, they're super versatile as well. Um, okay, and then we have the washi card. And that has the same quote, which is, hold on to hope the sun is just behind the clouds. And then we go up to one of my favorites, the washi. So the washi, we've got hope. I am my sunshine. It's got things like dance in the rain. I can't remember some of the other things that it says. Um, we've got the smush. We've got the umbrellas. We then have the um, the journaling story line, and then we've got probably one of my favourite tear washi torn washies um, is it's got the gorgeous dandelions with the grass, and then I'm not sure if you can see, but it's got like the little floating dandelions in the background as well. Um, so yeah, that's this is probably one of I I feel like I say this every month one of my favourite washies. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Yay, these colors are just stunning. Love it. Um, I totally agree. If therapy isn't working, it's important to persist and find a therapist that will help. Yes. Um, um, love dandelions to this day. Whenever I see one, I always make a wish. And here's the thing. I So as we were like trying to etch and get these ready for artwork, it's like, oh my gosh. Oh, I hate dealing dealing with the, the, the dandelions <laughs> but like I love dandelions so much and they just felt perfect for this kit because they're symbolizing a hope a wishing for the future and it just felt right to pair that naturally with the themes in this kit and also because it's fluttery and rain is fluttery and it just sort of worked okay let's jump into sticker lover let me just grab a drink mm. All oh, right. So, but I think this is the quote that's on the other pouch. Um, so for paper lover, I believe that's the right way around. Bad days are just part of the story, not the whole book. Um, and that's really important to understand. Um, that it, it it is you know it this too shall pass all that sort of stuff. And the word Fetty uh, for this kit includes a lot of that, but it also pays attention very much to the deeper. Um, parts which are you know that that things are just like struggling and and there's stormy days and and all that as well um okay so and yeah so like we've got let the rain pour and there has been a lot of songs stuck in my head so I do apologize for the earworms um they're so small I can't even read them um yeah I can't even read them <laughs> but there is so many quotes in there um, and the little note says, um, she helped me to see the sunshine through the, the storm clouds, which is absolutely accurate. Um, especially like a lot of, that's what a lot of my therapists have helped me to do. Um, so that's the word for And then we have the clear page. Oh my goodness. Just can't wait to see that all just like all over the place. So these are the two clear pages. We've got the corners, the sidebar, um, and as you all know, some of these pages do tend to change um, as they go through production. Hopefully they don't change much. Oh, and if you're enjoying it, give us a thumbs up as well. Um, and then we have the functional pages with the folding planner uh, and the icons and uh, quote stickers and the header stickers and all that sort of stuff and the little achievement stickers. Um, and then, oh, hold on, before I jump into the weeks, I've been wanting blue and green. Well, this, this is your, you're going to be loving these, this kit and the next kit, which I'm going to show you a little bit of. Um, <laughs> I never understood depression or people not being able to jump out of sadness as I had always been able to until I was hit hard with postnatal depression stick. And it was so hard. It really is. It is. Oh, Marianne. Thank you. <gasps> Yay. Congratulations, Amelia. Woo -woo. Um, 
on finishing your placement. Sorry for anybody who wasn't reading. Um, um, they are gorgeous and your hard work is very much worth every minute you put into it. Thank you. Not just my hard work. There's, you know, there's, there's so much that goes on that just isn't me. So, you know, um, yeah, you look very happy and radiant today. Half of it's anxiety. <laughs> Half of it's nerves about how much there is coming up. Um, that's how I hide it in the giggles and the freakouts. Um, okay. So I'm just going to, so the next thing is we're going to jump into the week. So week one of the stickers, um, week one of the stickers is that, that rainy days you can see up in the top corner, I'm going to point to the wrong side. See up in the top corner. I feel like I need to flip my, my, um, my monitor, but when I do, I can't wear a t-shirt with like words on it. Um, up in the top corner, you've got the rain pouring down. We've got a couple of the gumboots. We've got a whole bunch of water drops. Um, and we've got all these people sort of hurrying and rushing through the rain and things like that as well. There's also the yellow umbrella with the rain coming down in from inside the umbrella. And you can see the clouds under the inside of the umbrella. You also can't see that there's a journal behind there as well. I think that is from memory. Now the second week, and it was... Um, so this second week is the one that has the, the caveat at the, at the, for it. So it is the second week is the one where Alex really deals with, she goes through a bit of a dis, depressive stage. Um, she gets hard hit by all the feels. And if it wasn't for Jamie helping me through this week, uh, I absolutely would have spiraled. And I actually started to spiral when creating this and um that's the reason why i put the 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 discla not disclaimer the the support helpline details up this was the only one that i could find that covered a lot of countries as well I, I did a bit of research that was the best one that i could find it doesn't cover all but if you look in your own country you will be able to find something similar um so week two um deals with a lot of the heavy darker feelings a lot of the color has been sapped out there's the black dog, there's the couch, the cocooning couch. Um, and if you're not, if you don't have these feels, you can still use this in other ways. You can still use the couch as like, I chill down on the couch and watch net Netflix this week because I had some time off. You know, it's just because this is how I see it, it doesn't mean that's how everybody has to see it. Um, we've got some of these scrumpled up papers um, which she's tried to journal in. We've got a journal page where there's tears on the journal page. We've got the deeper storm clouds. Um, you know, it's, it, it definitely is a feel. We've got a few things to the, um, the time passing. We've got a broken spoon in there and we have the, uh, the teddy bear that's like dripped and soaking in the rain. And yeah, just a, a shout out to Jamie who, who really, helped me get through making this week and I did say to her if I'm feeling this way by looking at it I've hit the right tone um so yeah it's it's yeah it could also just be cozy rainy day in bed if need be absolutely absolutely um um c2 is that chapter two has been emotionally beautiful for me because I went through the painful betrayal of a friendship in January. I think this kit will actually help me finally heal. <gasps> Maybe I'm looking forward to this new kit. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, oh, wow. I'm so sorry you went through that, Nina. That's terrible. Um, holy moly, I did not expect to feel so seen on a live. Um, yeah, these... Um, sorry. <laughs> um... Thanks for all the comments, everyone. Yeah, I love that you have the Black Dog in, um, there for the Black Dog Institute to help those with depression. Yeah, th so that's a, I, I found out that's actually an Australian thing. Um, the, the Black Dog Institute is um, somewhere with mental health resources um, here in Australia. Um, but obviously you can go to the website from anywhere in the world and check it out. Um, I've referred to it a fair few times, so it is definitely a good website. Um, this set is reality for everyone at some point. Sucky days happen. Absolutely. And I think 
I think the important thing is um, one of my friends said to me once when everybody was saying, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. She, she turned around and she, she said, that, I'm not going to swear, that effing sucks. That is just BS and I'm so sorry that you're going through that. Like it's just crap. And I just really needed to hear somebody say that instead of just I'm sorry. Um, and so although I don't have sweary stuff in my kits because I never do because I know a lot of people use the kits with their kids, I'm hoping that this at least allows people to journal in their own way about those feels so that they can process them. Um, and I did happen to show this to my therapist and she was like, oh my gosh, you're, you're doing your own therapy. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> she was so proud of me. Um, see you later, Candy. Alex's journey is my journey. I hope that you're doing some healing. Yeah, so really a broken spoon. Yes, so I actually use spoon theory with my therapists. I have for years. Um, so the broken spoon was something that I had to include because run out of spoons, there's a broken spoon in the set. And then we jump over. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> you're very welcome. Yeah, in my, in my kits, there will not be any swearing. Um, in my lives, there is no swearing. In my... Instagram's reels, stories, not reels. There may be a touch of swearing in the future, but maybe there will always be a, this is me. <laughs> this is, this is what's coming up. If there is, um, yes, the validation that it sucks and it's okay that it sucks and that there is someone there that you're not alone in the suck <laughs> helps so much. Absolutely. What is the meaning of the broken spoon? Okay. So Spoon theory is, so I'll give you a basic rundown of spoon theory because I reference it a lot in this kit. So spoon theory, say, say you have 10 spoons. Okay. Everybody has 10 spoons. People with chronic illnesses or neurodiversity may only actually start with five spoons and, or six spoons or so we all have a different amount of spoons and sometimes getting out of bed is one spoon. And you need one spoon to get out of bed just on its own. Some days you need three spoons to get out of bed. So then you're just left with two spoons. Some days getting out of bed, you just do not have enough spoons. So sp spoon theory is like, okay, I like the, the, the broken spoon is literally saying I have so little spoons left that even the one spoon that I have is broken. And that's why it is a broken spoon. Because it's, it's just that feeling of I'm absolutely shattered. Um, but then we're going to jump over to week three. <laughs> I like that, Maria. Um, then you can jump over into week three and Alex meets her therapist, Alani. And as you can see, there's a, a set of spoons there. There's a couple of icons with a set of spoons. She, um, we've got the dandelions on the sidebar there. We've got a nice comfortable place for her to sit and talk about her feelings. She's, she's, she's harnessed the black dog. She's the little black dog's got a cute little coat on it. Um, and, um, oh, yay. I have to run. So excited about seeing the upcoming kit. Look forward to seeing you and go wild. Yay. Thank you. Um, Yes, my earrings do match the kit. I um, printed them. I 3D printed them last night on purpose. Yes. Um, so, yeah, she 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 meets a therapist. She does a little bit of reading and understanding. Um, she's still eating the ice cream because, you know, and she's still got the tissues because it's processing. There is a clipboard. There is also some medication bottles. Now, if just a caveat on this. So with the medication bottles, that could be for anything that doesn't have to be antidepressants, ADHD meds. That could be, I take blood pressure meds. It, it could be a marker for that. Um, so, and as you can see up the top, she's, Alex is going through this process, uh, which is I am my sunshine. Um, you know, and she's learning to dance in the rain and just, and you can see that the sun is breaking through the clouds. Um, so yeah, this was a very much a, like a, a transformation week where it's not all perfect, but you know, we're working on things. And I think that throughout your whole life, you work on things, you work on yourself and you grow and you change and you become better. And that's always a positive thing. 
Um, and then week four, oh, I feel like my voice is breaking. <laughs> Um, week four is the journaling page. So we've got like a couple of nods to the other weeks in there. We've got the little journal down the bottom with the black dog and the broken spoon. And then we've got, as you go up, the spoons get lighter and there's some of the other bits and the umbrella and all that sort of stuff as they go up. Um, and there's some extra little raindrops there. Cause I'm like raindrops. You could just put them everywhere all over your planner. Um, and there's a whole bunch of photos and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's week four. And then the extra papers are the, the dandelion paper and, um, sorry, these aren't papers. They are stickers that are like no cut stickers. Um, so we got the full like watercolor and then we've got like the vector on the gradient paper. Oh, wow. I actually did dance in the rain with my uh, roommate in the Navy therapeutic. Yes. Um, hold on. Uh, and sometimes you use up all of your spoons before the week is up. Yep. Thank you, Sammy, for this, because you have no idea how validating this is for me. No one around me knows what spoon theory is. Yeah. And it's, it is such a good way. Like I'm teaching indie spoon theory at the moment. Um, and like just getting her to realize that some days, some days are low days and that's okay. Um, and you know, but we work out strategies to give us spoons you know therapy is one strategy that can give us spoons um for me my medication is something that gives me spoons um the getting um getting different things for my trip is giving me different support which is giving me spoons so and there's a lot of different ways that you can um set up supports like for example my google calendar and my notion board give me spoons because I, do, I take some of the heavy lifting off my brain so that I don't have to panic as much because I know that that's written down. I'm not going to forget. So it's the things aren't so heavy. Um, so, yeah, uh, yeah, I love that. My emotions are their own ecosystem. Oh, I love that quote. Jennifer, that is an awesome quote. My insurance changed and I can't sit my therapist. Oh, no. This kit may help me tackle the overwhelming struggle of finding another one. I get that. Starting with a new... So I had been seeing my therapist who this kit is uh, uh, in memory of for maybe six or seven years. And she... Uh, it, yeah. When she passed, devastated and finding a new one is such an can feel like such an insurmountable task. One of the things I actually recommend if you are looking for a new one is write down a cheat sheet for yourself. It's like an intro. So a lot of people do this for their kids at school, like the first week of school. And it's like, hi, my name is X. Uh, my age is this. These are some of the important things that I've been through in my life. I used to take a picture of my family tree to my therapists. Um, because it is very lopsided and almost non-existent. Um, so just little cheat sheets like that, which can help the initial heaviness of, um, going to a new therapist. Um, showering lately takes so many spoons. I shower twice a, twice a day. But the effort is so heavy. Okay, so Amelia, find something that makes that easier. So, okay, I'm going to share what my thing is because I struggle to get into the shower, but once I'm in there, I, I quite like it. And I'll sing the In the Heights, the first song. So I'll be like, and that's like, I've got my routine basically to it. So it's lights up in Washington Heights, up in... And so I'll sing that and that sort of gets me pumped up to get into the shower. Um, play music while you're in the shower. Play, I, as a kid, I used to play noughts and crosses on the, on the shower screen <laughs> just to like give me something to do while I'm in there is fun. And it's funny because like Indy does little faces on the shower screen and things like that. Um, play podcasts, there we go, to help keep you motivated. That's another great idea. 
Um, Nina, as a gamer, spoons equal energy mana. Yes, yes, absolutely. It costs X energy to do a thing with a debuff or paint. Yes. Mm -hmm. It takes more energy than normal. But you only have a set amount of energy before you must sleep or rest. Absolutely. That's another great metaphor. Is that the right word for it? Um, yeah, so find things that help. Like, so one of the things that Indy and I realized that was hard about the shower is that because she's, you know, learning to wash her beautiful hair is she like you get soap and water in your eyes, right? So even things like having a hook that's at a lower level so that she can reach a face cloth that's out of the water made such a big difference. So little things, little things like that. Try and try and break down why is it such a, a hard thing? And that is a really hard thing to do. It is hard to break down those things. But once you work out little things, and it doesn't mean that it's instantly going to fix it. It just might mean that it takes three spoons instead of four. Oh, oh I love that. Wash your body. Yeah. Um, Showering is very hard for me since my cancer. I used to love showering now, but now I dread it and put it off. Are you able to take a bath? Are you able to take a bath and like buy the dyed bath bombs that maybe you can't see through the water? Because if it's a body thing while you're still trying to embrace your body, I'm not sure what the, the details are here. Um, and I'm sending you hugs, but maybe that's an idea. Because I know that when I am feeling particularly body conscious, which is a lot of the time, because I really struggle with body image, um, I will run extra bubbles or I now have a tray that I can like look at the, I look at my iPad instead of focusing on me. And so then I can just soak and not think about that, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, just a few different different ideas there's there's a lot of there's so many resources out there and just on the the therapy thing now I I asked in my last live if I could like what level of prompts you wanted for this kit um now I'm gonna do I think I'm going to do two sets of prompts and I've I've written half of them already and they get harder as you go down. So some of them are really light and breezy and, you, you know, just like, have you ever tried dancing in the rain? You know, some of them are really simple that, that don't refer to the mental health side at all. And then there are some that go really deep. Um, and the great thing about the journal prompts is you don't have to do them. If you want to, you can. You can pick and choose. You don't have to do them all. So, um, but that's an, that's an idea. Um, um, yeah. Oh, I can't get out of the tub. No more shakes with my balance. Hmm. Can you get a bath? Can you get a bath stall for in the, not a bath stall, a shower stall. And then like pretend that you're like a singer that you love who's doing like a stool set and just like singing in there and just like rocking out. <laughs> Tell me you've disassociated before without telling me. Um, <laughs> just different ideas, just, just, you know, thinking outside the box, just, and it's not going to completely make everything great, but it just might help to make it just a touch easier. Buy yourself some nice bath gel, uh, shower gel. I know it's such a simple thing. Um, but just little things that make you look forward to it just a little bit more. Um, but yeah, big hugs. Um, okay. Next thing. <gasps> so, you know how I mentioned that, um, oh, Tracy, I need to write that down. I need to write that down. I need to write that up down. Thank you very much. Um, I mentioned earlier that Jamie and I have been trying to blitz through as much of the kits as possible especially for my trip and because also we want to get ahead. And I have mentioned that um, we're now starting to see the advantages to chapters because we're getting ahead. Um, we're getting so much ahead that I'm actually going to show a preview of the next kit today. Mm -hmm. Bet you all didn't think that was coming today. Neither did I. Um, 
So let's let's I'm gonna jump over into it. I think. Oh, and I just realized that I forgot to uh hold on, let me just jump over into preview mode so you all can't see for a second. Um and jump back. Okay, okay, we ready? I'm gonna share the next kit. So in chapter five, Alex has she's you know being so down and you know realize that this is something that is just is part of her and that's okay but it's something that you work on all the time sometimes more than others and because she's had such a low she's decided she's going to go away on a bit of a retreat so the next kit is lakeside reflections and we meet our um like camp counselor, one of the one of the lovely women who work at the retreat, who is Aretha. And Aretha is stunning and gorgeous and is sort of gonna help with taking um Alex on a bit of a journey. And we've got um in the in the week, so just a little bit of a preview to the weeks. We're going to, she's going to do some walking and, you know, lots of chances to sort of have a bit of a think and some outdoorsy stuff. We're going to have a bonfire night where she really gets, you know, says goodbye to some of the, the hard stuff, fire cleansing. <laughs> and then we're going to spend some time in the water, by the water, canoeing, all that sort of stuff. Um, so this kit is an absolutely wonderful follow-up, um, to such a feels heavy kit. This one's going to feel very, um, outdoorsy and yeah, just, there's like very, uh, I'm trying to think of the right way to say it, but like back to nature, back to basics, bit of therapy in there as well. Hiking, camping. Yes. All that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, kit themes don't normally make me gasp, but this one did. Yes. Now I'm actually really early in previewing this, um, because of, cause I'm going away. <laughs> Not unfortunately to this place, this place. Um, but I wanted to make sure that I showed you all. I'm actually hoping to have this kit finished before I leave. Um, and yeah, it's, it's going to be a beautiful kit. And now let me just jump over into show and tell because show and tell is next. If you don't know what show and tell is, show and tell is, is where we take what you've shared in our group with the hashtag PA show and tell, um, and share what you've been up to. Now, Michael mentioned that there's a, an eclipse, I almost said an apocalypse, been chatting to Jamie too much. <laughs> um, happening over the USA. So a lot of people are using Starlit Stories and Under the Stars, which I'm here for. And um, yeah, let's let's have a look. Oh my goodness, I just realized I forgot to drag and drop it over. Give me two seconds. Um temp. Eighth uh, of April. Oh my gosh, it's the eighth of April, people. Okay, just one moment, please. That's last week's. Okie dokie, the final countdown. Um, yes, using all the elements. For, can we go back to the chapter five die cuts? You glossed right over them. Oh, that's because it's a really quick sort of like, I can show it up in a couple of minutes. Let me just uh, jump through the uh, show and tells for this week. Um, yeah, so use the hashtag PA show and tell for your chance to be featured. So first one is by Kate. Kate has used Forever Friends in her uh, planner, which look, is looking gorgeous. And it looks like the uh, the chapter's melody is behind there, which is awesome. Then we have Laurie who has done a gorgeous Under the Stars and some info about the solar, oops, info about the solar eclipse, eclipse, not eclipse, eclipse there. I need a drink. Next up is by Martha. Oh my gosh. And this is using a, a really big flashback to like Hello Universe. Um, 
I am loving that. That is one of my favorite minis of all time. I love that mini so much. Um, yeah, wow. Um, okay, and then next up we have Michelle who has uh, made a gorgeous layout using chapter three petal palette. So pretty. <gasps> Ooh! And then Hannah has used Milk Bar. I love the drippy drops over for each of the days. And it's in a, in the, we got some of the wild stuff over there too. We've got the, the chapters, bits and pieces in the chapter melody. Then Angela, who has also used chapter three pe petal palette. I love the little moment there with the mini popping out of the side. Oh, I love what you, how you've used the sidebar too with the story. Um, next up, Forever Friends by, uh, layout by Martha. Um, and this is a really good use of the papers too. A lot of people aren't sure how they want to use the papers. Fold it in half, chuck it straight into your planner. Um, next up by Martha as well is we have a, a Forever Friends monthly layout view. Oh, I love that you've used the quarterly um, stickers to match this. This looks awesome. I really, I really, and the, the torn washi or looking amazing. Oh, here we go. Ruth has had a go at stamping. I hope you had so much fun creating this. I love it. Perfect is boring. Let's make art. Yes. Yes. Love that. Um, Diana has made a milk. Oh, we've got like a milk bar resurgence going on. Is that because of the colors that I've used recently? Um, I love this. Love the milk bar resurgence um, by Diana. Country Cottage. Oh, this is the coolest card. A happy Easter. Yay. Oh, and you've used the card. Of course, you've done a 3D one. Tracy, this is looking stunning. And then next up by Leslie, we've got a blackout, a weekly layout using Forever Friends. Love the whites. Oh, this is cool. Sylvie, who has done like more of a basic sort of, um, not basic, but like simple layout using the tears and starlit stories. Really enjoying that too. And that's the thing. Like, this is the thing. I love that. You can go like more simple and understated or you could go like all out. Like there is, there is so much that you can do with these kits. It's, I just love seeing the versatility um, and how you all use them. And it keeps me inspired. Um, a journal page by Stacy using Arctic Adventures. I love the splatter in the background. It's very cool. Life was best. Life, uh, life was meant for a great adventure. Very cool. And the little auroras up there in the sky. Bianca is getting ready for wild with um, a monthly layout featuring girl strip and some wild stuff in there. Um, and then we have Lee, Lee, yeah, who has done a country cottage uh, layout. Loving all the bunny resurgence for Easter. Um, and then Nancy has done a forever friends layout as well. Okay, that, that duck, uh, the duck was just such a moment. Oh, I love the mini popping out behind the, um, the signpost. That is very cool. Um, Sarah has done a gorgeous daily layout featuring Loving Me, which is chapter one and a whole bunch of the stuff there. Another different layout that just, it just works. Loving it. Um, Bianca has used coffee and corgis for another layout, which is stunning. And Tanya has used Country Cottage, loving the rips, um, for this kid, for this week. Um, I believe this was Easter week as well. And then the last one we have is by Candy, who has done a weekly layout featuring uh, Forever Friends. So thank you so much to everybody who created, shared. We obviously can't share everybody, otherwise we would be here all day. Um, but jump into the um, jump into our group, share along, and you might be featured next time. There may not be a show and tell on the next live because I am hoping to do it live from the USA. Um, Okie dokie. So let's jump into our Q and A now. Actually, before I do that, I need to jump back into chapter five because I was asked to see the die cuts. Let me see if I can find them here. There we go. So the die cuts, there's a bunch of different die cuts in there. 
Um, we smash them all on top of each other um, because there's more than that in the kit. This is just like a sampling of the die cuts. Um, we've got the cute lounge in there. We've got um, obviously the character, the teddy bear, um, the doggo. Um, and we've also got the, the, the depression dog in there too. Um, the raindrops umbrella as well. We've got some ice cream. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. We've got the window. Um, yeah, so there is a lot in there. A lot in there. Um, yes, look at that. So she's so cute. Um, and look, the reason why I, I did pick a, a black dog was even for the, um, like the therapy week and the therapy dog. It actually wasn't because of Elsa, although that, I mean, sure, I'm sure subconsciously that, that helped, but it was due to a, like, you're harnessing the black dog, you know, it's always going to be there with you, but you know, let's, let's try and let's get to know it. The, 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 the depression black dog, let's get to know it. Let's, let's harness it. Let's realize it's, it's going to be there, but that's not necessarily befriend and live in that, but let's, I don't know. I feel like I'm cactusing this explanation. Um, but we can turn, we can, we can grow out of that. We can, we can find strength in that. And yeah, so it made sense to have that, like that support dog there. And it went dangly earrings off and I just want to do this. Um, anyway, so if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise I am going to go and eat some food <laughs> and get ready for wild. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, so while I'm waiting to see if there's any questions, so a few people did ask about the earrings. Um, so I didn't design them, but they are a 3d print, um, that I downloaded and printed. So yeah, they're, they're very cool. <laughs> Expect to see more. <laughs> um, cause I was like, oh, I really want to wear like rain clouds and just have this little moment on my ears. I'm also going pink this week. I cannot wait. I've hated my hair this color. This is, I mean, as a kid, I was like a mousy brown with natural blonde streaks. And then this happened. <laughs> and I cannot wait to dye it this week. But I have to go so blonde so that I can go so pink. <laughs> um... Thanks for the live, Sammy. Hope you have the best time at well. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Um, yeah, I'm going pink. We're going to try pastel. If pastel doesn't work, we're going to go a little bit darker. It's been so long since I've been pink and I love, love having pink hair. I would do it all the time, except it's expensive. Um, Cause yeah, this, this doesn't feel like me. Like I feel like I'm wearing a wig right now, except for the fact that wigs are itchy. Um, Cause this hair doesn't feel like me. It doesn't represent me so I am very excited to get my hair colored and go pink again the kids are very excited about mama having pink hair hello hello you just gotta come and say bon voyage oh I see I had the BYO chair because the other chair's got stuff on it. Yeah. That's all right. Everything has stuff Don't on it. Don't roll back. You get my toes. Okay. Hello, Sorry. everybody. Uh, <laughs> can I put it on that? Uh, um, no. Thank you. Um, oh. I think Americans would be shocked to see how much we pay to get our hair done in Australia, New Zealand. Yeah, it's expensive. I do my own. <laughs> you get what you pay for, apparently. <laughs> well, but also it's not like, and you never used to do your own. No, that's true. And then the pandemic hit and I decided that I could do it just about as effectively as a professional. Yep. And it cost me a one-time investment of like 80 bucks from Amazon. Yep. Except I can't, I, I tried to bleach my hair once. That was fun. I almost gassed myself. 
I remember that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, to go pink, it cost me around 200 USD. I wish mine was going to cost that much. Yikes. Yep. Well, I've got to go blonde first. Makes you happy. What's the cost of happiness? A lot. <laughs> A That's lot, true. which is why I don't do it often. <laughs> but I'm like, you know what? I'm going away. I'm going to be living my best life in my pink hair. Yeah. Partying it up and hopefully sleeping on the plane. That's not going to happen. But you'll be tired I by the time. Hope. You'll be tired by the time you get there. What time do you land? Or sleeping in the car. Do you know how fast they drive in 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 the Texas? Holy crapola. You're not going on the autobahns. You'll be fine. They drive like like... Like 140. Yeah, like I said, you're not going on the autobahns. You'll What's be the autobahns? The autobahns are the roads in, in Germany, mostly. There's a couple in France, but there's mostly Germany, where you can go whatever speed you like. And in fact, it's encouraged. 85 miles per hour. Nina, I'm going to need a translation here. So our maximum speed here. So I've been having a lot of discussions about this. 100 kilometers an hour is 60 miles per hour. So 85 is like 140. It's not that fast. I mean, I may have driven that once before. I also got pulled over by a cop for doing that. Thank, thank goodness he was a lovely country cop. And I, I mean, I can talk about it now because I'm Sam, not going to get fired. Sam I could have gotten fired for my used job. used your feminine charms to get out of the car. I did not. I, oh, look, nonsense. I got out of the car because I didn't realize when you get pulled over, you're not meant to get out of the car. And yeah. I got out of the car and I'm like, hi. And I had like six computers in the back yeah. of my car driving back from Tamworth. Like I said, you're feminine As charm. a rep. If I had have gotten out of the car with six computers in the back, not it wasn't it, feminine I would charm. be arrested. It was just, I am so naive and I don't know what to do. And I'm like, I'm yeah. so sorry. And he's like, do you know how fast you were going? And I'm like, depends on how fast you caught me at. What do I say here? I was like, what, 20? No, you were 20, younger than that. No, it was while I was repping for Atari because I was petrified of losing my license. And I'm like, don't call my boss. No, I think you were 19. Call this dude. Because that was before. And I, I was on you. my P. That was one of your stories. Yeah, I was on my P plate. So I could have lost my license and my job. But thankfully. You didn't. I Otherwise, may have went 160 before he called Well, you me. would never have met me had you lost your job. So yep. it's a good thing you didn't. Mm -hmm. There would be there'd be four You're fewer people pants. in the world. Oh, sorry. Oh, so, so yeah, Sam, anyway. So Sammy's going to be uh, super excited to to head to what? We're going to do we're going to do a live from the US. And if we don't do a live, then I'll I'll do a uh, a, a, a newbie plan with me. That's what I'll do. Hold on. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Yeah, I'm not driving over there. There is no way at all I am driving over there because like firstly, opposite side of the road. <laughs> Going that far? No, no. No, no. Not just that. The, the, the wheel is on the opposite side of the car, Sam. Yeah, that's just weird. Yes, he's just chucked his order. That's okay. You can't do the, the cool lean with your left arm. You have to do it with your right arm. Yeah, it's all back to front. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, the plan is next... Two weeks from two now. Weeks, two weeks to, to go live. Which would be after Go there. Wild, right? Yes. You might want to go check that. No, that's fine. I'll go check it because it's making you anxious. I'll be back. Well, because you might need help. Oh. Um. <laughs> you know, if you're a Texan, we need to take the speed limit as a suggestion and not the law. Do yeah, he he get pulled over for that and you get fined. <laughs> so it's it's just it's just interesting the 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 difference and like the speed cameras and all that sort of stuff, um, and how all that works. But I, I do not go that fast anymore. But I have, I have, yeah. So we've got a week to pack your bags. I know where your passport is, so there's that. So do I. Excellent. Yep. I've and got all my bits and pieces that I need. Yeah. And Sammy's using the uh, bag tags that we had in our... Um, yeah. Was, bon one was, it, was it Bon Voyage? Might have been. I there think. was two travel kits. I think Bon Voyage. Was, that yeah. One. Yep. So there's lovely, lovely... Uh, vegan leather bag tags yeah in that kit yep and i've run around the house and found all the ones that i can find to put on all my suitcases yeah this is mine this is mine this is mine. pretty this much is mine. yep pretty much so that's exciting and then you got two and a half weeks away before you come back yeah i'm so excited 
going to lounge by the pool. I'm going to go to Disney. You're going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to go to Hogwarts. <laughs> there you go. You won't be the only one with a bundle hashtag. Yep. Bianca's got one. Oh, yay. Yeah. So it's it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. But yeah, we're going to, I'm, I'm going to try and go live over there because it'll, it'll be, I think it'll be fun to do a, a different live from over there. Yeah. It won't have all the bells and whistles that I normally screw up over here. Um, are you gonna are you gonna take your GoPro or are you gonna borrow the uh, the DJI Action Four? Well, the GoPro will probably just overheat and die within the first ten minutes. That's only when it's stationary, when they because they're action cameras. They're designed to be moving, so they'll both do that. Mm. 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 Yeah, Michael and the kids will have a party or two while you're gone. I'm trying to convince him to paint paint in here. This room might be a little difficult to paint, but we. That's can, a no. But we. How do you feel about like those Hampton style um, baseboard things? That come up to here? Yeah. I love them. Okay. I've wanted them throughout the whole house. No, You don't like that style. No, I know. It's true. I love the Hampton style. Okay. If you cannot tell by my kits, because they sneak into almost every other kit. All right. Noted. Would you just have it white and white? Or would you do white and like a top of some description above? Well, if I do white and white, I can then, like, use my lights to make different colours on the wall. It's true. Mm. This is true. So, yeah. So, well, apparently you guys are having parties while I'm away, having, Penny has said. We're having parties, and we're going to see uh, how much time time we, we get to do those kind of, tackle those kind of things. Mm. Uh, but, we'll, yeah, we'll see. The, the, main, the main thing will be, uh, yeah. I don't think we'll have any, any troubles other than the few mornings where I've got to be out of the house to drop Indy at school early and Lachlan will be asleep. That's the only nervous times. But oh, I need to talk to the neighbour across the road to let her know. Um, I am not sponsoring a table this year. Hey, Lockie. <coughs> hey. I got it. It's one way to get attention. Um, I'm not sponsoring a table this year. Um, the reason why... Yeah. Pardon? Um, the reason why is because it's actually a lot of work to, to sponsor a table um, and to set it up. And this year I just wanted to relax and enjoy and chill and not feel the pressure about setting up a table. Yeah. We and won't... they're expensive. Pardon me, they're expensive That's right. to set up and deck out because like – so I know that there's, it's like a $20 minimum per person, like of goodies, I, I believe that's what it is to set up. But I think last time we ended up putting, cause like that's the minimum. And there's been a lot of people who get upset in the groups with the minimum, which is crazy, but there's a lot of high expectations. And I think our last one was like, if you count all the stuff, cause we put a kit plus another kit, plus a melody. Like, I think it was worth four or $500 to whoever sat there. And then on top of that, you've got to decorate the table. So I think the last table that we ran was like, essentially, basically like a four grand, five grand ish table in stock, in stock. Yeah. No, they're expensive. In retail and, price. And I think, but I think the bigger thing is just the, um, cause we, we obviously didn't go to live physically last year. Um, but we had, we weren't there physically last year. Go to week. Wild. Yeah, but yeah. we had we had wonderful people uh, yeah. there who were supporting us to do the table. Yeah. Um, we're incredibly thankful to those people. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, with Sammy going there, we wanted to make sure that um, she takes the time to focus on some relaxing me time. And I didn't want to miss out on the welcome yeah, party. that's right. Rather than running around doing all those just logistical things. So yeah. we took the choice to forego that, but... Uh, I think the investment in, in your uh, free time and relaxation mm. and those kind of things mm. is the most important um, part of it all. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't yeah. And are you going to have any wild, crazy drinks? Because didn't Not you the last... blue drink. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that was bad. Yeah. Sam, Sam will be all in if somebody brings her lovely chocolate. Chocolate? Not necessarily. I don't really like American chocolate. It's so different. Uh, I'm actually taking some of my chocolate over. <laughs> I once went to Belgium 
to buy chocolate for Sam and my mum to bring back when I was on a trip to Europe. And I got back home and on the back of it, mum pointed out, it said, made in Australia. <laughs> That's right. I remember that. <laughs> yep. It was ridiculous. Cost me a fortune. I could have just got it at the local shops. Yep. Yep. So I think we're spoiled for choice if they're selling are. chocolate from Australia in Belgium. Mm. Oh, we definitely are. Yeah. But there's other things in the USA like that I can't wait to do. And like food to try, like like actual proper Mexican food. Like I'm so excited about that. Sorry, no offense to your cooking. But like I don't cook proper Mexican food. Yeah. So like actual mm, I didn't get so fat. You have to roll me back to the show. I'm gonna have <laughs> three weeks of salmon. Because I'm not allowed to cook salmon while Sam's in the house. For the next three weeks, well, not yet, but in a week's time, for three weeks, okay, salmon so, every day. No, let's talk about something else. Okay. And pizza. That's fine. <laughs> um, chimichangas, yes. I'm, I'm excited. Jamie's taking me to chimichangas. No, to have chimichangas. I keep forgetting. It sounds like a place that you go to. Sammy, please bring some, um, bring some chocolate from Australia. I feel like my, so I'm trying to bring my suitcase that's behind Michael. I'm trying to bring that empty. Well, not empty. It's going to be like full of full stuff of that I can leave there, like food, chocolates and table mate gifts and stuff like that. So that I can take back the stuff. Cause I've got some stuff at Jamie's place that I already need to bring back. And yeah. So I need, and, and the stuff from wild and, I'm trying to not go over that one suitcase. You'll be fine. I filled two on the way back last time. Yeah, I know. That's what you'll do this time. But I only have one suitcase. Right, but I'm fully expecting that you'll be at the airport and having a second suitcase booked in. I'm a realist. Oh, okay. Well, now that I know that. (laughs) That's the first time you've mentioned that. I didn't think I needed to. I thought that was just understood. (laughs) Um... The notebooks, yeah, um, the notebooks, um, I'm finalizing the design on it and um, we're going to probably have that up probably just before I leave to, for sale, but it won't be shipping with the rest of the Q2 stuff. It'll be separate, which is why we're selling it separate to the other stuff. If you do end up ordering it with order, other yeah. stuff, it will delay whatever is with it. Yeah, and if you order it together with, if you just hold off on ordering the rest of the refresh stuff for the notebook, it will delay the mm. shipment of everything. Yep. Um, we don't have the ability to split um, orders. Mm. <laughs> Good luck with that. One suitcase. Yeah, that's... that's. Yep. Yeah, it ain't happening. I overpack. Jamie's trying to teach me how not to overpack. Just don't but take any. Over- what do you need? You're there for three weeks. So take seven pairs of underpants and then you wash twice, you're fine. Two pairs of clothes. One nice one's to go out. You just... Because you won't... You'll pack like one outfit for this, one outfit for that. And you're yeah. not using them. No. I have very specific outfits. I have a notion board and they say I'm wearing this for this day and this for this day. And, and then I'm going to print it out and stick it in my LPA planner. Fair enough. And then I have to take my Disney bounding outfit, which has ears and a backpack. And then I have to have my plain jammer outfit, which is meeting me in the USA and shoes. Two pairs of shoes, at least, maybe three. And... Plus the ones you're wearing on the plane. Or including. I don't know. I haven't worked that out. Um... Look, there's a lot of stuff to take over. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Diana's asked about the pre-orders for quarter two. So the, uh, we, we expect uh, those items to ship... Uh, what are we now? The eighth. I think... In like, it'll be they'll 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 be shipping while Sam is in the states, so probably before, definitely before the end of April. But I think the last week of April is when they'll realistically ship. Um, in terms of when they'll be open, till we ordered based the quantity we ordered was based on the number we sold of the quarter one refresh. Mm. Um, so it, it it there's enough there for everyone to buy, everyone who bought one to buy a refresh. Um, but we don't know necessarily if more people will buy it or, or what mm. so it's it's there are, they are a limited quantity but um assuming everyone who buys or bought the first one buys the second one then it should be just the right number 
Yeah. Uh, we didn't order too many and we don't think we ordered too few. Mm. We think we Goldilocks it. Yeah. Or at least we hope we did. That's right. Yeah. Um, right. <laughs> packing is Friday's problem. Yeah. I mean, I'm half done. I've got to wash a lot of my clothes before I go because some of the, there's a bunch of new stuff. Because when you sit at your desk seven days a week and you, your uniform is literally pants, like stretchy joggers from Exotica, it's basically a uniform. Exotica, we need to talk. I need my patterns on your pants. Um, not that you watch this. If anybody knows anybody who works for Exotica, please let me know. Um, and a t-shirt. Your wardrobe is very restricted. So when you go out, you're like, oh my gosh, nothing fits me because I sat in stretchy joggers, which look at and feel amazing. And now I need to squish into my jeans after stress eating for, you know, a few years. And so you, anyway, I have new clothes, which I'm excited about and I get to wear and I'm making new earrings. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sammy, is it one suitcase for clothes and one for other stuff? Um, you can't do it with one total. So many things to bring back from the States. So I have like, I have a small carry on. So that's my small carry on with all my, like, not uh, like my bits and pieces. And then I have this, but I won't be able to take the top one on. So that's got to be transplanted into the suitcase. Um, I have that bottom small suitcase that I, is my carry on suitcase. And then my big mama suitcase. Um, I present to you the matched luggage. Kind of, it's very mismatched. It's matched. But the, the big blue. suitcase I'm hoping to take mostly empty. And yeah, mostly empty. The carry-on suitcase is going to have most of my outfits and clothes in it. Or as much as, it, as I can fit. Oh, the big suitcase will have, sorry, my like table mate gifts and the chocolate and food and, and things like that. It's going to be a squeeze. I have some vacuum packed bags on the way. So I think it's more weight that I'm going to be a bit nervous about. I believe weight will be your problem. Yeah. It's 23 kilos and that's yeah. five kilos is the bag. Mm -hmm. So you got 18. It's not a lot. Yeah. But I also think that like getting a second suitcase and bringing it back with me, paying for all that is probably going to be cheaper than shipping stuff back in a box. Certainly. Which is ridiculous. Eh, it's all just storage space on a plane. That's the problem. You're just paying space. Mm. When you're with it, there's less chance it's a bomb. Well, because they racially, you know, anyway, never mind. What's everybody, what's everybody with on here? Anyway. Because they charge extra for security clearances and stuff because the person's <laughs> not traveling with it. Well, you still go through a security clearance. Yeah, but anyway. Okay. Um, wait, remember when we were kids and there was no such thing as stretchy jeans? I refused to wear jeans until I was basically peer pressure into, into it as a teenager because I hated the feeling of jeans. Tell me you're spicy without telling me you're spicy. Yep, hated the feel of them. And even now I hate the feel of a lot of jeans. So that's fun. <laughs> but yeah, stretchy jeans are the best. I have stretchy jeans now. Jeans they are the best. stretchy jeans? Well, there's, I have them on both sides of the equation. I'm going to go help the boy. So I'm going to say bon voyage. Get it? The tag bon voyage. Ha ha. Anyway, good to see you all. And I'll see you in a few minutes. I'm going to turn the oven on so you can have reheated pizza. Yes, please. Gotcha. Thanks. All right. See ya. Okay, see ya. <sighs> so, um, yeah, that's it for today's live. Um, I will hopefully, I mean, even if I, uh, even if, stuff doesn't work out with doing the live from Jamie's, which I think it will. I will be doing a lot of, I plan to be doing a lot of Instagram stories, which I did last time. Um, so, and I pinned them. I, I, I keep albums of them cause I like to go back through them and watch them. Um, so yeah, uh, keep an eye out for that. And yeah, I will see a bunch of you in the States. Um, I'll, and online, Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing it in a week. Um Yeah. Woo! Okay. Um, thanks everyone for chilling out with me. Thanks for the validation on the um chapter five, the showers and flowers, and see you all from America next time. Bye!
Oh my gosh, bye. <laughs> this didn't end. I forgot to press a button twice.